All right, guys, so we're going to kind of sort of do a little video on the chains and the spreader bar here. So just quickly, just going to show you. So you can actually put the chains in the boxes, of course, as you can see. Um, but you, you can't grab these in any way. You have to actually just use, like, the attaching and detaching to move them. Um, the yellow buttons here actually are for... Um, like welding all the links together so that they don't like move at all so I'm just gonna hit uh, free them and just you can see that they're moving now when you weld them all they just kinda there, there's a little bit of um there's some times where you'll need to actually weld them all to even be able to move things and then there's some times where them just being able to freely move will work better they're not that easy to use. They're not easy to understand how to use in a lot of, you know, cases, but um, they're usable is all I can say. So just like this, that's how you have to move these things. Um, but you can also always just, like, spawn one. So... You get the idea. You don't have to actually move these things. You can just spawn a new one and be done with it. Um, but for the people who actually want to RP, you can move them. Like this. But So we'll just attach right there. And then what I... What seems to work best is just grab like that second to last link... Or, or the last link. I mean, just any of the links you can actually grab. But, needless to say, I've just been grabbing that link there. And then you can actually, just to keep the video short, that's what all we're going to do. We're just going to use the one chain. But then you'll just kind of winch it up. We're going to speed that up a little bit. But yeah, then you'll just sort of tighten it. And then this is where you can actually... So you can either just leave it undone like that. Um, but if you're actually going to lift with it, most of the time... Like right now you could probably use it like this. But most of the time you're going to want to actually weld all the links, basically. Sometimes it goes good, sometimes it doesn't. You have the non-collide so that you can actually fix when it does get stuck. So actually, we are going to just use this thing unwelded because I don't, I don't think the welding is going to work out in our favor here. Let's try that again. Oh, there we go. You can see when you weld it, it works a lot better. In, in most cases. I mean, sometimes this isn't going to change anything by welding it, but... Just all depends. But yeah, so there's that, and then we can actually set it down. And then I'll just free the links up, I'll detach that, and then we can actually do whatever we want with that. We can delete it or do something else, but anyways, what we're gonna do... We're going to show the spreader bar right quick. So let's idle this up. Alright, let's get our spreader bar here. And the GY is basically on one of the hooks. So for the uh, spreader bar... It's going to be the chain that's on the red side. And then for the actual chains, it's literally the red side of the chain. So, but yeah, so you can weld those. You can kind of keep them like that for moving places. And then on the spreader bar, the chains do like to get tangled. So you just kind of uncollide those, fix the chains, get them out of the ground. And then, of course, you just collide them back, and you're good to go. 
I'm actually going to weld those so that we can get this over the uh, garbage truck here. And then for positioning, sometimes it is nice to use the collision uh, controls to actually make it over things and stuff like that. So let's um, see. Maybe the fender thing there on each side. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, so this is, on the spreader bar, you look at the green and red up here, not on the chains. But, so, let's see here. So this is the green side. There we go, that's attached. You always want to attach these with the weld not active or whatever. You don't want to attach with the welds, because then it'll take the whole bar with it. So, you'll, you know, as you play with it yourself, then you'll sort of figure out what I mean by that. Because um, the first time you attach with the, like, links welded, you'll know. Because basically, every single link moves in a straight, you know, or however they were welded. When they're not welded, then the one side of the chain can go where you attached, but... When they're together, everything moves as one, which is not what you want, basically. And so the spreader bar, basically, th this actually is a weighted uh, call. So in this update, I have weighted. The spreader bar does not work well with these heavier uh, vehicles. So it can work, but most of the time it does drop them. Um, like right now it's working fine. So, I mean, they, they work, but that, that's kind of how to, that's basically how to use the spreader bar, you know, and then like I said, you just kind of have to utilize the collision and, um, the welding. You just kind of have to know when to use it. Now, as far as to like tell you how to know when to use it, I don't know what to tell people is the problem. So, but anyways, keeping this video short, uh, hopefully this video can help you use this stuff. I'll make a better tutorial later, maybe, if people have issues with it. Uh, but for now, this is just sort of showing, you know, the controls and, yeah, how, how to use them. So, yeah.